and coming to the buttons you have got uh, many switches which has different functions and starting from turns button now this button is basically used to test number of turns now this uh, as you keep pressing the buttons the platform keeps changing coming to the next uh, button is the uh, lcr set you know that's uh, for the inductance capacitance resistance and impedance we've got a separate button for testing r dc it's nothing but the dc resistance of the coil coming to the next you have a special function this is reserved for us uh, for the future application next one is a shift now we have got uh, many functions which are uh, not enough to present that in the keys what we have so using this shift shift button you have uh, separate functions for the same keys as such now when you are pressing shift and the last button you can calibrate number of turns using these shift and like you know you can change the frequency you can change the test voltage you can change the second function which is uh, called the dissipation factor the quality factor the esr and the ra right and you have got various led you know that that is to show what function the instrument is presently in such uh, corresponding led glows when the function is on you can see the frequency you can see the test mode the series mode or the parallel mode coming to the rear panel of the equipment this is the rear panel of the equipment as you can see this is the on off switch and you have the power socket just beside that and uh, the fuse holder you know like uh, if the fuse is blown away you can just remove it and you can check it beside that you have rs232c connector this is a connector where you connect to the computer you have got a rear fan here you can just switch on and off the instrument using this switch this is this on and off Now let us see putting on a basic LCR test. Now this is how you connect the cable to the front panel. You can just switch on the equipment. By default, the equipment goes into capacitance mode, and the frequency is by default one kilohertz. Now let us change to DC resistance. Now here we are connecting one kilo ohm resistor across the terminals this is how you get the values and you are getting 1 kilo ohm exact so this is how you get the resistance now let us connect an inductor and check what we get now before putting the dut first let us put the function first Select the function. Now it is in inductance mode with one kilohertz, one kilohertz test frequency. Yeah, as you can see, it is 492.8 micro henry. So as of now, we have checked the inductance and the resistance. Now let us check some of the capacitors. Now let's connect the capacitor. Yeah. And oh yeah, it's already in capacitance mode, and this is how you change the frequency. You keep pressing the button until you get the required frequency. Now presently it is at 100 hertz frequency. I just got two displays. One is the actual value of the capacitor, and This one is the tan delta. This is called the dissipation factor of the capacitance. Yeah. Coming to the display, you have got two displays. Uh, one is the value, 
as you can see all these L, C, Z, R, A, C, R, D, C and T, R these all corresponds to display 1 and uh, display 2 corresponds to all these second functions the dissipation factor, the ESR, the quality factor and R, A, C so as I know we have checked uh, measuring the inductance, capacitance and resistance now let us connect one toroidal tens platform we initially start with TTPT 100 and as you can see before connecting any of the platforms you should be ensured that the instrument is switched off this is how you connect the platform yeah the connector and just uh, see the direction of the connector you have got uh, various connectors and again this is for the start and end of the coil this is for a single turn loop which we name it the loop cable let's switch on the instrument as told by default it goes to capacitance mode we got it to yeah and apparently this is a TTPT 100 now let us select this platform in the instrument as you can see as you keep pressing the button you the function keeps changing now keep pressing the button till you get TTP 1 let's connect a coil this is how you connect the coil now this is 10 turns coil now we will connect the terminals yeah as you can see you are getting 10 turns now let us unwind one turn and check whether the instrument detects one turn or not yeah just check it's showing nine turns so this platform is good enough and it is able to detect one turn okay now let us check the inductance of this as you can select the function keep pressing it and here is the inductance this one is at one kilohertz test frequency and here let's check the resistance yeah 35 milliohms is the resistance of the coil now let's come back to turns yeah now we have checked a coil with 10 turns and now let us put a coil with 84 turns yeah. now you connect the terminals Yeah, just check, it's 84 turns. Let us unwind one turn. Okay, okay, now we connect this in a reverse polarity and check the polarity of the coil. Yeah, as you can see, it shows a negative sign just beside. It's also checking the polarity. Yeah, till now we have checked all single winding toroids now let us check a multi winding toroid and check how the turns comes So till now we have seen how to test the product but now let us see how to calibrate the number of turns pressure 
at some conditions where the turns shows improper such conditions you connect the standard toroid yeah and this one is shows exact 200 if if suppose like it doesn't show correct number of turns or you just there's a calibration provision here just unscrew I mean unnut and rotate the pot until you get expected number of turns yeah stop at this condition now the equipment is calibrated to 200 turns so like this you can calibrate it with any of the standards you have and let us connect TTPT 2000 before changing the platform as I've told you you must be ensured that this instrument is switched off this is TTPT 1000 now this TTPT 1000 means it can test toroid starting from 1000 to 10,000 tons always be careful that all connections should be made under switched off condition yeah let us switch on the instrument yeah, so now we have connected TTPT2 which is a TTPT 1000 now this is the basically to test toroids from 1000 to 10,000 turns you, you gotta select the corresponding test function as you can see TTP2 TTP2, TTP2 corresponds to toroidal turns test platform TTP 1000 so just keep pressing the turns button until you get TTP2 now just change the frequency that's how you change the frequency we have changed to 1 kilohertz frequency let's connect the toroid how you connect the toroid This is how you get turns. Now this toroid is wound with 2000 turns. So this, this is how you check number of turns. Now let us see how to calibrate number of turns. Now if, if the equipment is not showing exact number of turns. Now put on the standard toroid which you have. And you have a small calibration pot inside. The very reason of giving small 